what, uh, what a beautiful family. And we have some more beautiful families now. I'm here with Eli and Oliver. Check out these two lads, these heartbreakers right here. Yeah, they're already catching up to their parents on the rock star stakes. Eli is president of his third grade class. Shout out, Eli. And Oliver, turns out, is a pretty impressive fundraiser. And you know what? I'm going to turn the stage over to these legends in the making right now. Take it away, gentlemen. Well, my brother and I are really, we really appreciate our parents because they really inspire us and teach us to help make a difference in the world. And they teach us how to be a great person and how to be you. They always teach us and to strive to be a better person, to help others, and to be the best person I could ever be, and to make sure that both me and Eli are going to be successful and have a good life. Please turn your attentions to the screens. I think that's the ultimate desire, the ultimate wish for everybody, right? Because Hopefully, we can live to see a generation that is cancer-free. Sep and I met when it was my fourth year in dental school. We were invited to a good friend's house. The car behind me suddenly accelerates super fast and literally cuts me off. And I'm like, what the heck was that all about? <laughs> and then I realized, wait a second, they're going to the same building that I'm going to. Six months later, we were engaged. We knew pretty early on that we had a lot in common, our core values. It's really about just giving back, giving back. We're very, very fortunate to be where we are. We're very fortunate to be in this country. We're fortunate to live the lives that we have. Our parents made great sacrifices so we can have this opportunity to really just do the mission of our lives is just to help out other people. We're blessed to have three boys, Eli, Oliver, and Lev. Eli and Oliver have certainly had a head start in getting involved with fundraising and giving back to the community. We raised over $10,000, just my brother and I, so I felt pretty good about everything that we did and all the work it took. I think that also was very powerful to them to know that, you know what, even at a young age, you can do it. And all that it takes is your want to do it and your willingness to put in the hard work. There is no proper age to get involved. Cancer Free Generation is the young leadership division of Tower, and it has been really exciting to be there from its start. Really bring forward younger people into this organization, allow them to have fun, and in those fun events really raise money for a much greater cause. A few years ago, my father got diagnosed with cancer. He's my best friend and he is really for the kids. He is a rock. Um, it was a very scary time. I think our entire family, including the kids, really came to appreciate what organizations like Tower are able to do by funding research. My father is still alive and if he had had what he had maybe 10 years ago, even 15 years ago, that may not have been the case. I got involved with Tower Cancer Research when I initially joined the practice at Tower Hematology Oncology. You're always trying to think about what's the next therapy, how do I get that to you? So I think organizations like Tower are gonna have a very bright future. There's gonna be even more amazing research opportunities to fund. It, it gets you excited to go to work, gets you excited for the next advance out there, and just to be able to share that with patients and to provide them with that hope as they're going through a very difficult time. Thank you, Tower Cancer Research Foundation, for honoring our family with this award. We're incredibly humbled. We're extremely excited about the foundation's future and our involvement with it. Thank you, everyone who is here tonight. Thank you, everyone who has done all the hard work. And thank you for honoring us. Um, we hope to continue to make you proud. And uh, make sure that the message is heard and that our whole family stays involved. Thank you. Helping the community is a great thing because not only will it 
help the people who you love, but it will also help the whole world. All right, mom and dad, please come up and take this award from Tower Cancer Free Generation. And thank you for all the great things you do for Oliver and I. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Tower Cancer Research Foundation uh, for this award. A um, couple of things I just want to say. Number one, I want to thank our parents again. You know what? They made tremendous sacrifices to come to this country and to give their children this opportunity. And we certainly wouldn't be anywhere without those sacrifices that they made. So thank you. To our children, I want you guys to always realize you know what, you can do anything you put your minds to. You know what, the world can actually be an amazing place and you can make an incredible difference in it. All that really requires is your wanting to make that difference and putting your minds to it. And you've shown that difference throughout all the years that you've been alive. So continue that, okay, and you'll be incredibly, incredibly, incredibly blessed. One last thing I just wanna say as one of the physicians at Tower Hematology, you know, oftentimes people say that it's difficult to be an oncologist, but a lot of times our patients make our lives easier. And our ch patients have tremendous challenges, and the way that they deal with those challenges, they actually give a lot of hope to us and allow us to better their cause. Uh, there's a lot of patients here of mine, and you guys have always been very, very, just given me a lot of strength, and I wanna thank you guys for that. And to everyone here, again, be strong. Again, there's a lot of amazing research out there. There's a lot of amazing progress that's being done in cancer. And this is a field that we can win. We just gotta put our minds to it. So thank you again for everything. <laughs> Dad, we are very proud of you. I hope you can continue your work. But now we're going to start doing the raffle. <laughs> yes, we're going to draw. We're going to draw our raffle winners. Eli, Eli, and Ollie are going to do the honors here. So uh, they're, they're seasoned veterans at this stage. I'll let them take over. Oliver's doing the honors here. Do you want to say it? Go ahead. Be my guest. The winner is... Nine, eight, one, five, four, four. Um... Is Jack Verona? It looks like Jack Verona. Jack Verona. Oh, that's Jack. All right, Jack. Well, congratulations. So the wall of wine is heading your way, yeah. Uh, I don't know if Eli and Oliver are actually going to be allowed to uh, deliver it to you. But, uh, but they deliver the news to you. Thank you. Round of applause for our amazing tooth. Wow, 
Well, it took me that combined age to even want to go near a stage. Incredible. Well, I, you know, that's all the fun and games. That's all our winners right now. Bye-bye um, to our online streamers. Thank you.